Hi, I'm Nolan from PaintBasket.com. You're watching our series of videos on how to create the perfect painting. Here's an interesting decision you need to make when planning the outer element of your artwork. Is, will your artwork have shape or form? Hmm, do you know what that is too? <laughs> Let me quickly explain. If your artwork has shape, then it's a two-dimensional piece of artwork. Now, good examples of that would probably be a painting because it hasn't really got any depth worth considering. It's mostly got width and height. So, when, when planning a, a shape artwork, we need to decide is it going to be square, a rectangle, a circle, an oval, or even an organic shape. Gee, I'm really bombing your brain with all sorts of new terms today, aren't I? An organic shape is, let's say for example, you've painted a tree. Then you, you take the, the canvas and you cut it out to the shape of that tree. So I can't say it's a circle or a square or a rectangle or something like that. So that would make it an organic shape. So. If your artwork has shape, it's only got two dimensions. So I suppose you've already guessed now that if your artwork has form, it's a three-dimensional object. <clears throat> Things like a sculpture would be a piece of artwork that has got form. Now, when, you, when you're deciding on the, the form of your artwork, you'd have to decide on things like, is it a cube or an orb? or whatever shape. It could also be an organic shape. Let's take a sculpted horse for example. That would be a beautiful example of an organic formed artwork. If you've enjoyed this section of the video on how to create the perfect painting, why not head over to our website paintbasket.com and we'll give you free access to the full two-hour course.